So in this video, we are going to make our user list. Let's start with it. Get inside the components and make a user list over here. This would be simply a function. Let's change this to a function annotation. And then what we want is to have the at the rate composable annotation over here. Now, what this user list will basically display it will display me the list of the users which I have inside my application. So let's have a user. This will be of type list, and list is of what? List of type users. So we want this thing to be implemented. Now, what should be inside this function? The first thing I want to have a lazy column. Uh, let me implement the lazy column. The lazy column will have the items and the items would be like user items. Now what I meant from all this thing is let me explain you is let me have a look over here. Like if this is your main screen like this is your main screen if it is your main screen then inside your main screen what we can have is like a lazy column first of all we will have a top bar at the very top and we have the text and then what we have we have a refresh icon over here here we are going to have our refresh icon and here we are going to show our text view which is this coin demo app let me get the text Let me minimize the screen. So I am just giving a basic stuff and basic idea what the screen is going to look like. So this will be our thing. Then what we have is like we have a screen over here. Like this would be our screen. This would be our lazy column. And our lazy column is going to take few things and it is going to display me the stuff. Like here I will see my user number one. Like something like this. And then I am going to duplicate this. So my lazy column is going to look something just like this. Yeah. So this is how my lazy column is going to look and it will contain the list of users something just like this. So this thing will also have a UI component like here I can see the photo of the user if I want to have then I can have some text views where I can see the name of the user something like I can see the name of the user over here so I can see his email and his another stuff over here so I can see his email over here so this particular items need to be designed so in this screen in this user list screen we are simply having a lazy column which is going to fill the maximum size and we are having some sort of padding and then it will hold some sort of list of users and to display that list of users, we are going to have another composable as a component which will have a structure for this. Okay, so now let's cut to the code and have this lazy column. Let's have some sort of modifiers to this lazy column. The first thing which I want is it to fill the maximum size, and then yeah, I want to have some sort of content padding the content padding will be equal to padding values dot 16 density pixels i want the padding values to be 16 density pixels now let's create the user item and after each item i want to have a divider let me have the divider and that's it so now let's create our user items and then we would be good to go for the application. Let's try to finish this with this within this video. Let's create this thing and let's have our user item. First thing first, remove the class and let's convert it to the function annotation. And let's get at the rate composable. Yeah, so that's it. Now this thing will take something as an input, it will be of type users, let's import users and what we want is we want to have a card view to display all that thing. 
so let's have a card view like you can see this whole thing i am going to show this whole thing to you guys yeah. so this whole stuff is basically going to look something like this so what we are going to have is like we are going to have a card view this would be our card view yeah inside this card view we are going to have first thing is like uh, fill the maximum width which is available then we will have some sort of padding and we will have some sort of elevation then inside it we will have a column and that column will have a padding of 16 density pixels so let's have a column with such padding yeah we have this column inside the card view now inside this column what we have we have a text view that text will simply display the user text and then we will have another text view which will simply display the user email so we will have this text view one which is going to display the stuff then we will have some spacer then after that spacer what we are going to display is we are going to display the user email so this is how my card view is basically going to look up. I will not have this image since I don't have an image view. So it is going to look somewhat like this. Yeah, so this is the stuff which is going to look like and this is how we have designed this thing. And I hope so you have understood the concept which I am trying to explain you guys. Okay. So this is basically let me make this thing clear for you this thing let me annotate everything this will be a scaffold and our scaffold will have the first thing as a after the scaffold i have no not this let me select this okay sorry my mistake yeah this will be our scaffold then inside the scaffold i have my top bar this would be my top bar and this stuff this one would be my lazy column and this thing this main thing is my user list screen so let me write each one of them for you this thing is my top bar And this thing is my scaffold. I guess so the spelling is right because I haven't paid attention. It's double F I guess. Yeah, it's scaffold. Now this is my main scaffold which is going to hold everything for me. Yeah, this one. And then we have this as a top bar and what is going to be this? This is going to be my refresh button which is basically going to refresh the stuff for me like this is my refresh state button then what is this thing this thing this one is my lazy column this is my lazy column and inside this lazy column I have this particular user list this thing is called a user list and this user list have few stuff which I have already explained you so this is how my whole application is going to look like like this is the structure for my whole UI I hope so you have understood the structure till now and now this thing is pretty obvious for you if you want I can break the things more down let me break those things down for you I have some sort of padding over here this is a column and I'm going to break the stuff for you guys this is a column then this is a spacer over here and then this is uh, these two things like my bad this one and this one they both are actually text views
they are text views and this thing this white space which I am referring is my spacer and it has some sort of height the height is something like 16 dot density pixels this is in actual my spacer and this main thing is a column So I hope you have understood the whole orientation of our application and then this is what we are going to design now. Now I guess this is like very simple for you. Let us have a column and inside that column we will have some sort of modifiers. Let us have the modifier to fill the maximum size first of all and we will have some sort of padding. Let us have fill the maximum size, then we have some sort of padding, and padding is like 16 density pixels. And then, yeah, this is what we actually want. And in actual, we want a vertical padding, we do not want a horizontal padding, we only want a vertical padding over here. So, this is our column over here. Now, in sorry, this was our card view, my bad. This user item should have a card view, not a column. Let us change it to card for the card now we are done now inside this card view and let's have something like i want to have an elevation elevation is equal to card defaults dot card elevation and we want to have an elevation of four density pixels let's refactor the code and format it yeah now inside this card i want to have a column the column would have a simple modifier of padding 16 density pixels then let's get inside the column and the first thing which i want is to show a text view let's have the text and this will simply say the name of the user or i can display id also let me import the text first of all then let me import the material theme then yeah I will show the ID first of all, then after that I want to show the name of the user and then I can do one more thing like I can show the email too. So yeah, that's it. And between all of it, I can have some sort of space up. So that's it what we want. So yeah, let's copy the spacer code and place the spacer between the stuff. So in that actual we have implemented three rows like we have this column. Inside this column we had one and two text views, so I have placed three of them so it can look a little bit good. So, yeah, this thing is pretty much done. Now, let's get inside our main activity and let's see first of all our user screen. Is it let's import the stuff? Is it imported? And we have no errors. Now, let's get inside our main activity. This main activity will simply have let's remove all this stuff, we don't need it anymore. Then, we need to remove this thing also simply have a surface and inside this surface we will have some color let's say color is equal to material theme color dot background let's import the material theme and then inside we are simply going to call our user screen and yeah we are pretty much done our application is completed now let's try to Post this thing for the very first time and see if we run into some sort of error or that's. Let's have a look. I hope so. This UI portion is pretty clear to you. Like this was the best explanation I can give you guys. And yeah, let's wait till the grid builds. I hope so. We don't run into any errors because all of our code is right and this is like a very simple one. So this. Okay, we have something like an error. Okay, we need to import the items. Let's import this thing and we are done. We missed to import the items in which we are going to show inside the lazy column. Now we have this items import over here. That's right. 
okay we have something an error like it says sorry in that case it's not running it's related to the emulator actually that's not because of the code let's try to run this thing okay just give me a second let me resolve this thing that's related to the emulator okay the error was related to the emulator it is being resolved now let us wait till this thing runs and we have no error inside our code our code is completely correct okay so let me show you meanwhile how we can push this thing inside our git so what i'm going to do is create a git in front of you guys this is my github you can see devop interfell simply i'm going to come over here and create a new repository and name it as go an example and this would be a public one let's create this repository so i'm going to show you how we can make the commit so what we need is to go to the terminal and initialize the git let's get this git in it so what we want to do is copy this line git remote add origin Okay, then git at, then git git commit slash m. This is an example. You can say this is an example for. GI using Cohen. Great. Let's commit this thing. Git push origin main. So I pushed this inside the main thread. Okay. The spelling was wrong. You can see. Okay, I didn't select the branch, that's my mistake. Meanwhile, we can see that yeah, my project is launched. So let's have a look over here. So I can see this is the 10 users which I'm seeing. And I can then refresh. I can see my loading indicator with a delay of 2 seconds. And I will see the same stuff again, okay. So this is how my application is basically going to look. This is a simple application with the help of dependency injection which we have implemented. So let it be good. Main. Then let's have git push origin main. Yep. Now the things are pushed to the GitHub. Now we can see come to the git and have a refresh. And yeah, all of the files are uploaded. You can definitely visit over here. This is the git link. Dev of Winterfell slash co and example. This is a public repository and you can make your folks and contribution if you want. So that's it for this video. I hope so you have understood the concept of Cohen and how to implement the Cohen inside our application. So thank you for watching this playlist. Hope so you like this one. Please make sure that you share this playlist with your friends who are trying to start to learn that what Cohen is. So this would be a very good starter to understand Cohen. Maybe we will have some videos to understand the Cohen implementation in more details like how we are going to make some complex projects with the help of Cohen. So make sure to subscribe our channel and stay connected with us guys. Okay. So thank you for watching.